why are the Chinese looking towards uh, the, Brit the British market, the London market? I think there's been a long relationship with you know, Hong Kong particularly and the UK. Uh, a lot of people send their children to universities in London and they're looking for a place for them to live while they're here. Uh, the other side is people looking for outright investments. London is seen as a safe haven and it's got a good track record for residential investment. I mean, um, does, does London lead the European market? Uh, I would say definitely yes. Why, why is that? What, what's just, what makes London so special as opposed to the Parises, the Berlins, the Moscows? Language. I think you know, most of the people you know, in Hong Kong and Singapore you know, do speak English. And that is the big, big attraction. In addition to London, obviously uh, Sydney and America is also attractive for the same reason for the language. And on the educational front, do Sydney and New York compete with London? Uh, I believe they do. I think they're behind, but yes, they are competitors in that respect. And w w why, why is the educational element so important here, do you feel? I think historically, you know, the, the, the Chinese are sort of uh, entrepreneurs. They're looking to uh, you know, give their children the best start they can in life. And I think London universities are seen as the world leaders. What has pushed uh, Barrett, you know, just your coming specifically, what's pushed Barrett to, to the Chinese market? Why have you gone, what, what, you're, going, you're going into the Chinese market late this year to do a road show. What is drawing you to China? Uh, honest answer is the volume of people. Mm. You know, obviously, we still obviously want to sell to the UK market, but we do see in the long term that the mainland China, as, as a place like India, you know, will be uh, a potential market for us going forward in the future. With the interest from mainland China, how does that affect the first-time buyers market for UK? Well, the first-time buyers, obviously, a lot of cases, obviously, are struggling to get mortgages uh, unless they've got parental help. It is it's difficult. Uh, the government bring out a new initiative to help first-time buyers, and BAT have got their own initiative called Head Start to help people with low deposits. And obviously, we continue to push that as well as the overseas. What developments are they looking for with it? When they come to you, when you on your roadshows. Is it the one bedrooms, is it the two bedrooms, and why did they choose those? I, th I think it's a complete mix. I mean, you know, they, uh, you know, the, the, the Chinese buyers buy at the very, very top end of the London market, as well as developments in sort of the middle bracket, like Dawson Square. The main attraction, I think, is good transport links. I think it's got to be good design developments in good locations, but transport links are key. And as I said earlier, Dawson Square literally is on top of its own tube station. Restricted mortgage lending is making it more attractive for you guys to sell your apartments to overseas investors. Or yeah, I, I think that, that, that's probably fair. You know, uh, you know, if we if we could sort of guarantee the sales from the local market, there obviously be less need for us to go overseas uh, because of the constraints in the mortgage lending. We are having to go overseas to achieve our sales targets. And places like Dalston, in particular, are very popular because of its location. We're just over a mile away from Liverpool Street. We've got our own tube station virtual on the development, and that's obviously become you know very attractive to investors and owner occupiers alike. Um, and when you sell to Chinese investors, um, you mentioned universities, you mentioned the language. Is there anything more of a perhaps a more business driven element in terms of exchange rates? I mean, exchange, or local demand in their housing market? They were going through a, an inflation as such. Yeah, I think I think obviously the the exchange rate has, has made a huge difference with the value of the pound against the sort of Hong Kong dollar. Uh, you know, our properties work out about twenty five percent cheaper than they were previously. So that that is, I think, a, a major factor, and that has increased the numbers that bought over the last couple of years. Now, why are um why are the Chinese buyers, Far Eastern buyers, why are they buying new developments? What is, what is so special about the, I think not the, just barracks, yeah. apartments obviously, but the general new build, what does it, what does it offer? I think, I think the main thing is the fact that it is new. I mean, if you're 6,000 miles away, you know, viewing properties is very, very difficult. We, we, we go, we have an exhibition at a local hotel, we take all the marketing literature, model of the development, CGIs, so we can really explain how the development works. Uh, they're buying the quality, uh, Barrett is the only national house builder to be awarded a five star house builder for the second time. Uh, in addition, you know, we can offer a five year warranty on all our fixtures and fittings, again, which is unique to the industry. So people can buy and know they've got the confidence that for the first five years we will look after the property, so you think they're wrong.